And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the color extension. It's a nice add-on, nothing too special, but it has some value. So I wanted to talk about it. Just go to extensions, color, and you've got all these options. Most of them are one click options. So if you click, for example, on a circle, which is now red, then go to color, black and white. You will get a menu. So this one's not just a one click option. You can see that you can add the threshold color for this. It's typical 256 colors. And 255 gives you a fully black one. So depending on the colors that you have, I only have a red circle in the background. But sometimes we've got more complex elements. So you want to play around with that threshold. But brighten and darken, these are one click options. So the first one is now a little bit brighter, the second one a little bit darker. And here, let me put the original in the center, you can see that. So this is sometimes helpful and it's a lot quicker. For example, the desaturate as well. That's the one click option. Keep in mind that all of these extensions, they work on these shapes and uh, vector elements that you've created yourself. But if you want to apply it to images, that doesn't work. Most of them are self-explanatory. The negative color, for example, gives you this, uh, let's say a reverse RGB value. You can also randomize it and you get this menu. Let me do that. I'll switch the values a little bit. And you can see that it changes the color real time. If you want to remove the blue on a red element, nothing happens, obviously, but it has red. So let us remove the red here. And we've got a fully black circle. Two more options I wanted to talk about. So the replace color gives you a new menu that's a little bit complex. First is the color to replace. So if you change that now, let me use this color. It's not part of the red circle. So if I click on live preview, absolutely nothing happens. We make that bluish or something. I go to black. You can see it's not part of this original circle. And if you use a partially red color, to replace it doesn't work either. Let me use a new color. I'm gonna make it blue. The only way to make it work is to use the color to replace that you've got. So we need a hex code. And let me go to object fill in stroke. I click on this red. Circle, I copy the hex code and then I paste it as a color to replace. And if I now check the live preview, we've automatically got this color replaced by the new one, which was the bluish color. And if I use a new, new color, check the live preview again, you can see now it works. So this menu is a little bit more complex. And there's an RGB barrel. It doesn't give you a random color. So it gives you a new color depending on the one that you've already got. So if I apply it to the next circle as well, we've got the same green. And once again, all of these don't work on images. So if I remove the green here, there's a lot, nothing happens. And if I use the RGB barrel as well, nothing happens. So this is for these vector objects to change the color. It's a helpful extension and it can save you some time, especially to brighten and darker options. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.